Well, he's an absolute legend. Um, played 54 times, scored 28 goals for the Socceroos. He was part of the campaign in 2006. Uh, also went to the Olympics. He's got the all-time scoring record in internationals. I could go on and on. The man's name is Archie Thompson. He joins us. Welcome to the show, mate. Hey, brother. How are you? Oh, I'm just delighted. You know, over here in New Zealand, it's it's very rare that we ever celebrate anything good with Australian sport. But when it comes to the round ball, Archie, I feel like we're brothers in arms here, aren't we? Congratulations. Well, mate, yeah. Well, you know that I was born in New Zealand, right? So I've, I've got uh, big touch, uh, um, big roots in uh, New Zealand. So, um, and I'm like, I mean, I was five weeks old when I moved over here, but I'm, I'm still when the Wallabies play. Uh, the All Blacks. I'm very much All Blacks in that game. <laughs> Maybe because uh, you guys win all the time. But um, yeah, mate, it's a, it was a great result this morning. So you'll be damn tired, I bet, hey? Oh, mate, I don't know which way is up at the moment. Like, I, don't, I can't remember the last time when I've been this uh, sleep deprived, but it's been worth it. I tell you what, this morning just uh, was a cherry on the cake, but I, I reckon um, every single match has been pretty entertaining there's been the odd kind of uh, snore fest but that's you can't have every game being spectacular but yeah this morning just topped it up I, I was so proud of the boys well that's the second win out of three in the group um and let's yeah. just talk about that this morning what an absolutely cracking goal it was oh it was brilliant and uh you know this is maddie um matthew lecky's third campaign world cup campaign he hasn't scored a goal he's come close on a number of occasions i've just heard him interview after the game and uh, you, you don't get bigger. <laughs> you don't get bigger than this one in terms of, uh, you know, playing for your country where your goal ends up being a decider to get you through to the final 16, which we haven't seen in about 16 years in, since that 2006. And, you know, they're creating their own little bit of history. Uh, in that campaign, we only won one and uh, Drew, drew two and lost. These guys have won two. They've um, equaled on points with France in the group. And to be honest, mate, no one um, saw anything happening from that game against France. But they uh, they rolled their sleeves up. They got a good result against Tunisia. They had to work extremely hard against Denmark. And, mate, they're through. And I tell you what, the celebrations here are just beginning. Uh, uh, I don't know if you know Fed Square, but it's a, a pretty iconic place when it comes to the Socceroos when they play, and it's important here in Melbourne, and it was just going off. Yeah, I saw some fantastic pictures. 3.30 in the morning, yeah. the place is absolutely packed. This is what sport does. This is the beautiful thing about it, isn't it, mate? It just uplifts you at times like this. Oh, mate, 100%. And, look, we're a multicultural country, and... There's something about football that unites every single one, and especially when the Socceroos play. I know that uh, we've got some pretty big teams in, in respective sports, but um, I don't know. It's, it's something about the Socceroos that just unites this whole country. Whether it comes around every, to like every four years or like it comes in dribs and drabs, it doesn't matter. It's just uh, when it does and it's important and, uh, we need a bit of uh, maybe that 12th man or X-Factor. They seem to help us. 